what is going on good people welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing well out there in the old interweb don't forget subscribe like comment hit the patron page let's get a community of like-minded music lovers together let's start a conversation let's see what's cracking all right so today i want to talk about joe bonamassa's new album called time clocks now time clocks was released October 29th of 2021 and runs 10 songs for 57 minutes. Now, you may say, who is Joe Bonamassa? And if you're a guitar player, you must be living under a rock because this guy um, has been around since he was like 12 or 13 years old. I think it's the first time that he started professionally playing um, in regards as blues, rock, playing this guy's a powerhouse um, he is one of today's guitar heroes and I think as my generation gets a little older he will be respected as one of the guys that you have to go see as we respect Robin Trower and Eric Clapton and Eric Johnson and those guys Joe Bonamassa is a monster guitar player I can't really say anything more than that so there we go uh, time Clocks, like I said, released October 29th of 2021. Now, as you know, um, I did a video earlier, and you can check it out, about how Joe got me on some clickbait when he announced the album. So I've been patiently waiting for about a month for this album to come out. And I have to say that I was not really disappointed when this album dropped. Now, let's talk a little gear. Y'all... I don't have enough time to set and talk Joe's gear, right? Joe is a gear nut, connoisseur, OCD, obsessed gear person, right? I love guitar gear, but I crank out a 40-hour week job, and I don't have three or four houses full of gear like Joe does. So for me to sit here and say this is exactly what he used, I would be hard-pressed to do that. Um, I'm sure that Joe used a Dumble. He probably used a couple of tweed fenders. He probably rocked, um, uh, he's got like a, an Esquire with a humbucker in it that he rocks. Um, he's got vintage Les Pauls out the ass. Uh, he rock. he's got some signature pedals. One is a signature fuzz I've always wanted to check out. Um, I mean, the guy is just gear central overload, ladies and gents. So for me to sit here and say this is exactly what Joe used, I'd be hard pressed to do that. Now, I do hear like high powered tweeds or low powered tweeds. Um, I'm sure that the Dumble is in there, but I, I'm just I'm just scared to say what he uses because the cat the cat has so much stuff at his disposal, and then he may have pulled you know a db cooper on us and disappeared his gear and plugged straight into a laptop using some kind of digital thing i don't see joe doing that but i mean who knows right so there we go on the gear so let's talk about the album a little bit um time clocks like i said released 2021 and it is the follow-up to joe's album entitled royalty now when i say royalty my southern accent i'm not saying like royalty like king and queen i'm saying royal tea like tea you drink and it was released 2020 now some of joe's albums have themes like royalty was recorded at the famed abbey road studios and it kind of has a british vibe to it now time clocks to me and i'll talk about my top tracks as i always do um time clocks to me has a it's very different um i I'm very pleased with this because uh, Joe, how do I say this? Joe kind of backed off the speed shred blues that he's kind of famous for. And it's got a lot more feel in it, which is really cool to me. And it's got a uh, Mediterranean, there are a lot of undertones in it, uh, like Mediterranean, Asian, East Indian uh, undertones to it mixed with the rock blues thing now i don't know if that's what he was going for with this um but that's just what my ear hears now again i'm just a guy sitting in his house that's obsessed with music and that's just what i hear right i'm not a professional I'm not a professional music critic but 
Yeah, there we go. I just feel like um, he it's got that uh, those undertones. I don't know, like I said, if that's what he's going for, but I just hear that. Uh, maybe maybe his time at Abbey Road, he got a little Beatles influence, and he got some of that George Harrison love, where George was getting into some of that, uh, you know, Ravi Shankar kind of stuff. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe Joe was just jamming, and this is what came out, and this is what he gave us, and that's what artists do, right? But that's just what I hear. So let's get into my top three tracks, right? So my top three tracks off of this 10 Cut album, number three, I have to go with the song Curtain Call. Now, Curtain Call is the number seven song on the album and runs seven minutes and 31 seconds. Now, this, I get a kind of a... Um, deep purple kind of feel but it's very big with the horn section some strings in there uh it's very big sounding it's very epic so uh but again once he comes out of the first intro where the guitar is really heavy there's that that kind of mediterranean east indian kind of feel to it right so that's really cool to me like uh this has that like it's like a cashmere feel and if you've ever met me we'll have the led zeppelin conversation i don't want to do that now but um i just i feel it right okay so curtain call is my number three song it is the number seven song and it runs seven minutes and 31 seconds now my Number two song is a song that he first released that ended up on this album, and it's called Notches. Um, now, Notches to me is is one of the best tracks that Joe has put out in a while. So, Notches is number two song, and it runs seven minutes and three seconds. Now, you can hear in the intro that East Indian kind of feel that I'm talking about, right? And that's where I was really like, whoa. But then it kicks in with that standard Joe Bonamassa sound. But he carries that theme throughout the album. Um, and I, lyrically, I like um, I like how he uses the word Saskatoon <laughs> in the song, so that's kind of cool. So Notches is my number two jam off the album. Seven minutes and three seconds and is the number two song on the album now my number one song if i was going to hand you this album say start here uh me personally is this is the song for me off the album and it's called questions and answers and it's the number five song and it runs four minutes and nine seconds now what drag what uh drug me toward this song was the guitar the chopped guitar rhythm and Joe's vocal delivery on the song woman on the, the word woman is very articulate it's very cool I can hear his northern accent a little bit but I just really love the rhythm in this song it just punches you right in the gut from the onset and then it's got those undertones to it and I don't know if he meant to do this but the guitar solo in it <clears throat> is very um it's, it's like Santana meets Robert Cray if Robert Cray was playing a 335. That's just what I hear. I don't know, with a little bit of like Albert Collins thrown into it, okay? So my number one jam off the album is Questions and Answers. It is the number five song on the album and uh, runs four minutes and nine seconds. Now overall, how did I feel about the album? Is this representative of what Joe has going on? And I would say yes. If you were just now getting into Joe Bonamassa, which like I said, you may be living under a rock. But if not, this is a good place to start. Um, Joe, one thing I respect about Joe, and you can find a documentary that he did, is he has done it on his own, ladies and gents. This guy, uh, he's always on the road. He produces his, uh, you know, his albums. He's got a small team, um, his merch, his website, he, Joe does it. So there's some guys out there that I really respect that do that. Joe's one of them, uh, Jason Isbell, Sturgill Simpson, these kind of guys that are out there doing this and um, because, one, they love music, they're obsessed with music, 
but they're doing it without uh, a record label stepping on their art and telling them, okay, you have to do this, you have to sound like this, you have to dress like this. Joe's not doing that. Um, and I've met the guy a couple times, super nice guy. Uh, so I'm, I, it's really cool and inspiring to see a guitar player that's not uh, being pressured by some label have to do what they tell them to do. So that's one reason I really like. And I think this is a culmination of everything coming forward. Um, this this sounds really good. It's mixed really well. It's produced really well. Now the cons on it, yes, Joe can be can get a little monotonous on his guitar playing uh, from his speed. But I'm going to be completely honest with you all. A little bit deep down is my jealousy and hatred because I can't do it. I can't do it. I wished I could. I would love to sit down and take a lesson from Joe. Um, but I just don't have that speed and that feel that he does. Uh, but he kind of backs that down on this album. I don't know. It's just my ear. So this is one of my favorite Joe Bonamassa albums right now. I've jammed it since it came out. Uh, so on my jam scale, I have to give it a four. Uh, a four out of five. Um, again, there are a couple of tracks where the solos are, you know, the Joe Bonamassa solo. But there are a handful on here, like I said, that are just smack you in the face. There I am, Joe Bonamassa, and I really enjoy it. So there you go. Time Clocks from Joe Bonamassa. Give it a listen. Like, comment below. Let me know what you think of the album. Let me know what you're jamming. And remember that music is love, and love is music. Until next time, ladies and gents, keep rocking.